is Runaway. I didn't yeah. know that was legit tech. All right, so Birthday Boy versus the uh, girl. <laughs> is that his present? <laughs> a victory <laughs> over a girl? No, dude, it's Prompt 2. I'm just kidding, it's Prompt 2. I hate when people say Prompt 2. Prompt 2? <laughs> prompt 2, that's ugly. I hate that. All right, man, we're starting on Pokemon Stadium. Runaway trying to do some little PSI magnet things. He's pretty good at those. Wow, I like the cancellation of like the um, arc fire with uh, Ness's back air. That like ability to be that close and just prevent a situation <laughs> that could have gone so bad. Trying to chase down with some nares here. Doesn't get anything out of it. it looks like Runaway is just kind of like catch. hitting buttons. He almost killed him off too. Runaway was just kind of like hitting buttons right there, but I feel like that's kind of a Ness thing. Yeah, like. A lot of the times, uh, Ness's main goal is to just either bait you into an attack or just whiff punish. Because, like, a lot of times you see Ness get the advantage because of whiff punishes. And solely because, like, they're just pushing buttons and, like, trying to bait them into, like, an unsafe action. I just found out the other day that I didn't think it was. I guess I was just, like, doing it wrong. But, like, down air, forward air, forward air, forward air is, like, still a thing in this game. I didn't know it was. I mean, it's down throw. I mean, not down air. Down forward throw. Forward air. So like, I don't know. That that's At like zero. It's like down throw. Forward yes. air. Forward air. Forward air. But like, that's always been a thing. I didn't know it was. I I, I didn't like, know it was you because. Didn't know it no, 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 in 4 it was, that's what I'm saying. When, oh, it, when it switched it over. Same. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, when I, when we played Ultimate for the first time, I played Ness and I was like, oh man, it doesn't work. But like, I wasn't abusing the buffering, the, the yeah. buffering stuff. Back Great conversion off of the runway, by the way, as well, as we're trans transitioning back into the game. Um, almost getting a kill with the back throw, but Prompto looking very solid. Still at three stocks and has runaway at 72. Oh my god, dude, Prompto. That too. Prompto was ballsy there. That was a little too ballsy for my taste. I, don't, I think it was just more so he knew the spacing. He was like, all right, the safe, I can do this. Like, he won't be able to hit himself as long as I relay in the move. Yeah, you're giving him a lot Ooh, of credit. Out of arc fire, almost taking the second stock without losing his first. That was incredible DI there to keep living. Wow, the coverage. His only option there was the waiter jump. That was really good option select. Prompto out here looking clean, man. This win over Runaway would actually be a pretty big seeding upset in my opinion. I loved, however, that fade like backwards to down smash. I've never seen that before. That was clean. Oh, he's looking really low. He's able to make it back. All right, so speaking of the down throw fair. Yeah, Actually, look at the that. platform prevented that third fair, I believe. It did, yeah. After that third fair, if they DI incorrectly or if they jump, you can get him with the down air. And if you like get him off stage with that, that's such, such an early stock. For sure. All right, looks like Runaway is trying to get the spacing, but Prompto is just a little bit better at just playing it safer. I think that's a, just a matter of like how this match is going is Prompto's playing it just a little bit safer than Runaway, causing him to get such a lead, preventing Runaway from getting these kills that he really needs. And because of that, like, Runaway's at kill percent, last stock, while Prompto's on his second. That's actually an interesting thing to, to talk about, being this is a, a three-stock game versus a two-stock game. Like, if you just play that much, like, that, just a little bit safer than your opponent, you literally have three stocks of, like, being more safe than them. Like, exactly. I feel like it compounds a lot more with that extra stock. And along with that, just falls into, like, the category of momentum, right? It's just, like, I, I need to keep this up. I need to, like, right. be able to play this, play this, like, bait and punish game, essentially. Cause exactly. Robin, Robin Ness as a matchup is very interesting because Ness likes to be in your face while Robin tries to run away and just pressure with projectiles. So right. it's, like, it's very interesting how they try to interact with each other. And I think... With that first game, Runaway just could not get the right rundown pressure that he needed. Yeah, I can agree to that. Let's see if he changes anything here in game two. I'm sure stage pick will actually have a huge impact on game two here. Yeah, I think I think so as well. Battlefield, I could actually see this. I mean, it's a smaller smaller base stage. Mm -hmm. uh, all these platforms from Runaway to be slippery on. Yep. I feel like this is absolutely try, going to matter here. I'm trying to care, I'm trying to think about unless uh, Prompto decided to ban Smashville because I was like Smashville might have been a more interesting pick between the two. Um, yeah. Both could definitely benefit, but I can see Ness just throwing out some really crazy stuff in uh, Smashville. Wow. Okay, that was smart. He needed to let go there, or that was a stock. All right, Runaway just having some really hard time, just having a really hard time trying to recover. Prompto playing it so well as the edge guarding. He almost, he almost got that up tilt too. He almost did. I like that little movement option there to auto cancel the down air and then roll. It was like a, it was like a cute little wave land of some kind. Oh, the catch. Able to still make it back. 
Was that a down smash? That was a down smash. I don't know if he meant to run up and down smash or not. <laughs> he forgot to hit forward. <laughs> maybe maybe he just got went for more of the read than the reaction of, like, he's going to roll. Remember how I said this stage would matter a lot? I mean, it does. You're just thinking of the wrong person. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, the, I don't know. Here's, here's the harder thing, right? Is, like, how is this going to land here? Like, he can use the platform, but as long as Prompto's just kind of, like, sitting there... It's hard for him to really get in. He's just really beating him off stage. He's We're, getting yeah. some mileage from these ledge traps. His ledge traps are excellent right now. And game. I think that's what Runaway needs to focus on now, is just like, how can I prevent, how can I gain the stage control and keep it? Right. Because a lot of the time, it's just like, he wins a neutral exchange and just goes back to neutral. Sure. And that may, even that's like, some of that's out of his control and I understand, but that's kind of like, he needs to make that his main goal right now. Yeah. It's it's so scary. I think, I understand why Prompto's doing that down smash every time. He's trying to catch the it's roll. Just coverage. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to catch the roll. He's just regardless, waiting. Regardless, you're getting damage there. If he waits, if he jumps, or if he get up, gets yeah. up normally, it's a, it's it's you know damage. If he uh -oh. rolls, it's death. Right. And so he, I see what he's doing there. Yeah, it's it's like just such a good like ledge trapping tool. Oh my god! And he went up, grabbed the sword too. Prompto. Man, this man's moving right now. This man came here to play. Oh, that L one almost did it right there, low key. Eh. <laughs> Wow, really good movement at the end there to finally clutch out that first stock. And now, here comes Runaway trying to get his run back in the second game. Runaway's looking for something here. Finally seems to have found his footing. We're going to see some fairs here. Another one. Very oh, no. great damage, but Prompto... Tries to reset. Yep, Prompto trying to jump out of it. All right, grabs the sword once again. Able to convert off of it, too. Rolls away, gets the nair there. He's off stage. We'll see how his ledge trapping is. Man, Prompto's just... That, that is one thing I think that is actually setting a big margin is how, how far the mileage for all the offstage game is. All right. I like, think Prompto's getting some huge simply, stuff off of it's it. It's definitely hard for Ness because, like, yes, he has a good recovery. Yes, it's, like, a very, like, good rocket, but it's it's very linear. Like, you can tell exactly what he's going to do. Oh, yeah, of Especially course. with the up So it's, like, one of those. He, all Prompto needs to do is time it and space it. Yeah. And he obviously has the spacing down. You know, <laughs> that whole set. Spaced, yeah. Spacing was so on point for Prompto. Clutch it out, clean 2-0. Well. Runaway, yeah. obviously a very notable nest, but it's just like, I, he couldn't get in at all. 